Star Wars The Clone War Season 5, episode number 16. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Clone Wars. And boy, God, almighty oh, things are picking up, man. I don't even want to intro this video, but we got to. Obviously, Death Watch has a new leader. Our boy Darth Maul took out Pre Vizsla last week, and he's kind of gained control of Mandalore. And things are... It went from Maul being like an old enemy that came back to reuniting with Savage to getting his sanity back. Kind of, he's still a little bit crazy, but you know, he ain't as crazy as when we first saw him. To, you know, getting all the crime families to come together, to taking over Mandalore. Like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is next? This man has a ton of people at his disposal now. Not just random, you know, random fighters or random, like. These are some top-notch people. These are the top-notch crime families. You know, it's Death Watch. It's people on Mandalore. It's people in the city. Like, this has become a serious problem to the point where it's not like you can just send Obi-Wan to deal with him anymore. You know, like, this is becoming like a Separatist-type problem, like, to that size, I feel like. You know, like, it's not just him and Savage anymore. He's building, and he's building quick, man. So I'm super excited to hop in this arc. I got my boy Hades in here with me. You guys probably seen his the top of his little head at the start. But uh, I'm excited for this, man. I really am. You guys keep telling me this is all that crazy shit you guys have been talking about for Clone Wars, man. And I'm loving this arc. You know what I mean? The joint arc, it was good. But now we to the meat and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to stop wasting time, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Man, drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Let's get it. I always forget how loud these Clone Wars intros are and they blow my ears out. <laughs> Jesus. Morality separates heroes from villains. Facts, man. Villains always willing to go to extremes, willing to cheat, willing to do whatever it takes. Whereas the heroes are like, ah, we can't do that. <laughs> what do you want, you traitor? I would never betray you, Auntie Satine. Damn. I'm here to rescue you. Corky. We haven't seen him in a minute, huh? He's gotten old. Hold it there. Oh, girl. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Bro, she looked like she's There was she's a time when we weren't enemies. Perhaps that time has come again. Mm. Come on. Nah, you guys just got a common enemy now. Bro, when she took off that helmet, her face had the rudest bitch face on. You know she is so mad that Pre Vizsla got killed. <laughs> you know my boy Obi-Wan gonna come to the rescue of Satine. That's his side girl. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Hey, the people from Death Watch ain't no pushovers, I'm telling you. The transmission is still blocked. Damn. Yo, if they get a message off to the Jedi Council, shit. This is a message for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh -huh. Aw, oh, shit. Damn. I need your help. Yo, look how they added the spikes to the top of the helmet. Unless that's just... Well, I was going to say, unless that's just Maul and... That armor, but why the fuck would he be using that armor? They added little spikes to the top of the helmet. This is a message for Obi Wan Kenobi. I've lost Mandalore. My people have been massacred, and Olmac is now the Prime Minister. I can't explain everything now, but Olmac has the support of the crime families. Obi Wan, I need your help. Yoda's like, it's your girl, bruh. I'm afraid we cannot help. We cannot just hand Mandalore over to these crime families and let Satine become a martyr. I'm afraid her decision to keep Mandalore neutral makes this situation difficult. That's... Understand your feelings. I do. At this time, nothing more can we do. Damn, she should have said, like, there's people here with sabers, you know? Like, I know they don't really know who they are, but if they mention that, then that changes shit. The Duchess appears to have contacted the Jedi just as anticipated. Good. They wanted her to do you that. You've done well. If Kenobi comes to rescue his friend, he will have to come alone. Yeah. You know Obi gonna come. He ain't gonna leave Satine out there to dry. We haven't seen Anakin in a minute, bro. Anakin or Ahsoka. 
Like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm loving this fucking arc and everything that we're on. But, like, you know, I'm, I miss him. I miss him a little bit. Do you have a landing permit? Um, I think I left it in the ship. Uh, come with me and I'll get it. <laughs> in other words, let me fuck you real quick and take your get up. I hope you killed that dude, Obi, because if you just knocked him out, he's going to wake up like a minute and tell them what happened. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could have restrained him, right? Here to do more of your master's bidding? I do my own bidding. <laughs> Except this is a fucking trap. Lock it in, Obi. Don't simp. There's no record of a prisoner transfer here. The orders came from upstairs. That's always the answer. The orders came from the man himself. What's the authorization code? No. Um. There it is. That's the authorization code. <laughs> the thing too about Death Watch and all them, man, like they're so mobile with their jetpacks. Like instantly, they don't gotta wait or anything. They can just strike, start chasing. Oh shit! Big boys themselves. Ah oh, shit. Yourself. Look at my man Maul just staring. Dude, I fucking love this arc, man. Aw, oh, shit. Big boy's in the house. <laughs> oh, he's like, didn't I already cut your arm and leg off? We meet again, Kenobi. Welcome to my world. Fuck. Take them back to the palace. Man, this shit pisses me off, dude. Because, like, the Jedi should come here to help, even though I know they can't. Whatever. Why didn't you bring Anakin? Anakin's always down to fight. The perfect tool for my vengeance is in front of us. I never planned on killing you. But I will make you share my pain. Damn. Kenobi. Damn. Oh, it's about to get dark. Damn. I've loved you always. I always will. Damn. This is like the first what the fuck moment I feel like we've had as far as like fucked up shit. Like this is some dark shit right here. God damn. Take him to his cell to rot. Damn. Dude, that is some dark shit for this show, man. Like, we've seen people killed and everything, but not like that. Holy fuck. Satino's a pretty big character, I feel like, too. Wow, holy shit, man. What the fuck? I didn't... I thought Obi-Wan was gonna, like, break free and save her last second or something. God damn. Prepare my ship. Oh, shit. Palpatine, what you gonna do now? You pulling up here? You gonna meet an old friend? Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Yo, this is some... Oh my god. Man. Obi-Wan, that was his girl, man. Shh. Like, I get it on Maul's part. He wants him to suffer. Fuck. I'm gonna rescue Obi. That's death. You ever use one of these before? No, but in this case, I'm a fast learner. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go get some fucking help this time, Obi. Shit. Damn, man. I can't believe they killed Satine like that. I mean, she wasn't like my favorite character or anything like that at all. But it's just like, holy shit. I can't believe they fucking did that. This is like a remix of Vader's theme, no? A little bit? It's Palpatine, huh? Oh my god, dude. Yo, he's coming to visit. He is coming to visit. Dude. Yo. He is coming to visit. Holy shit. This show's gotten so much more, like, dark over the seasons. Like, insanely dark. Oh my god. Yo. Maul must really want you dead. You have no idea. Holy shit. 
Oh my god, Palpatines are about to be here. The presence I haven't felt since Master. Yep. Palpatine. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is definitely a little bit of Vader's music. Master. How unfortunate that you are attempting to deceive me. Master? Damn, he knows. You have become a rival. Yeah. He's become a problem. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. We're getting Maul and Savage versus Palpatine. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Bro, holy shit! Don't tell me Palpatine's about to just fucking destroy him himself. God damn! Oh my god. This is the only other time we've seen Palpatine fight other than at the end of Revenge of the Sith, right? Holy shit. Your city and sister, aren't you? Oh. I'm so sorry. Damn. I never really connected it, but they do look alike. Wow. Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, Palpatine is insane, man. Dude, Palpatine is a fucking unit, bro. Dude, he's gonna kill him. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Notice how all that music just cut. Holy shit! Brother. That, the. Uh, Oh my god. I'm not like you. I never was. Oh, dude, I feel so bad because Savage was. We remember Savage before he got fucked up with the magic. There can only be two. And you are no longer my apprentice. Tim. You have been replaced. Yeah, by Dooku, man. God, look at this the Darksaber. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got fucking chills. Holy shit. Palpatine is just fucking overpowered. There is no mercy. God damn! Oh my god. Do not worry. I'm not going to kill you. I have other uses for you. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit! This is the most shocking episode I've ever seen on this show. Holy fuck. Season 5, episode 16. Mark it down in the fucking history books. What the fuck? And I'm wearing the fucking Palpatine shirt today, bitch! Link in the description. Go buy my merch. What the fuck? Dude, I thought we were gonna have, like, the whole Jedi count. I thought we were gonna have Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi, Mace Wind. I thought we were gonna have to have all of them pull up to take these motherfuckers down. Holy shit. Palpatine came out of his fucking chair, finally. Came out of his fucking office. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> I did not expect that. What the fuck? Pal so first of all, like, I can't even process what happened this episode. I can only process the fact that Palpatine went into action, okay? First of all. Second of all, 
Satine, the way she died, holy shit, dark, fucked up as all hell. This show has gotten utterly dark over the seasons. Savage is finally dead, which, you know, dude has been a problem, but seeing him at the end there, how he's saying he was unworthy and he was never like, never like Maul, you know, like we remember back early on when he was just, you know, he was just there kind of, he wasn't all fucked up like this. And then Mother Talisman did all that shit to him, you know, and turned him into that for Dooku and for, uh, Ventress, which sucks, man, because he was just so normal. He was chill and he was nice and he was there trying to save his brothers. And oh man, you know, you like seeing Savage how he was over the time. You forget how he originally really was, you know, that this really wasn't him, man. But then seeing that little moment there at the end kind of makes you feel a little bit, a little bit of empathy for him. But holy shit, Savage is dead. Maul. I mean, Palpatine said he wasn't going to kill him and that he has other uses for him. I don't know if Palpatine's going to have Maul rule over this planet for him, the Mandalore and the system, and then that's more stuff in Palpatine's control, you know, secretly in his control, because obviously Mandalore wanted to stay neutral and everything. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck his plan is for, for Maul. He, you know, obviously he said the rule of two or whatever can only be a master and an apprentice, and Dooku's obviously his apprentice. So Maul can't be his apprentice anymore, you know? So I don't know what the fuck is going to happen there, but I cannot believe Palp. This is the only time we are, we've seen Palpatine fight other than in Revenge of the Sith, right? This is the only other time we've seen him fight, I'm pretty sure. It's just fucking insane. Like, I know this is animated and everything like that, but the dude is... As much as I hate him, the dude is insane. The dude is insanely strong. The dude is insanely smart, and he's a fucking master puppeteer. You know, and that's what it comes down to, man. But holy shit, this episode here. Oh my god. Favorite episode of Clone Wars so far, hands down. Most shocking episode of Clone Wars so far, hands down. I'm so glad, like, that this didn't get spoiled for me. You know, obviously, you guys know Maul returning got spoiled for me, but luckily. Nothing else in the series thus far has been spoiled for me because if this was spoiled for me, I would have been so pissed off because this moment seeing Palpatine come in, like this whole time I'm sitting here thinking, oh, we're going to have some big war, you know, some big like so separate fight from the Separatists, you know, where like everybody from the Jedi Council has to come like, you know, obviously, like I said, Anakin, Ahsoka, Mace, maybe even Yoda pulls up, you know, but then fucking Palpatine just pulls up in that bitch himself, handles the problem literally without breaking a fucking sweat god dude it just goes to show you how strong he is like obi-wan took on savage and maul himself yeah and he cut off a limb but my not my boy y'all know palpatine ain't my boy but this bitch palpatine okay pulls up doesn't even break a sweat kills savage and makes darth maul his bitch like, holy shit, man. <laughs> Palpatine is so overpowered, man. Oh, but I fucking love it, but I hate it, but I hate to love it. It's just a mix of all emotions, dude. This episode here was fucking madness. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you did all just enjoy the reaction that you checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and comment down below a movie or TV series that you guys want to see me react to next. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon. Shout out to the homie Silas Kane, That's So Gordo, Supernova, and the homie Quentin. I appreciate you guys for supporting me over on Patreon, man, as well as everybody else. So if you guys want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. You guys get access to early access videos, full length reactions, and a bunch of other stuff. Come join the Patreon family. Hopefully you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.